How's it going everybody? It's Tempest HU and I've got another V2 Rocket gameplay in the map V2. I was using the candy variant of the Grease Gun. What I want to talk to you guys about is Call of Black Ops 4, the reveals tomorrow. I'm honestly so hyped for this game. You know, I'm a huge fan of the Black Ops series. And you know, this is coming from Cherok, one of my favorite developers of all time. They made so many games that, you know, is like a treasure to my heart like all their games are so memorable and I've enjoyed every single one of them you know from Black Ops like every Call of Duty game they made I have enjoyed and are my favorites so you know there's been a lot of uh, teasers with Black Ops 4 a lot of rumors and you know if you go on Twitter Call of Duty or Treyarch posts uh, gifts of the game and it's just a little teaser of what the game's gonna be like and you can't barely see anything, it's just kind of like forage and stuff and it, it, it's distorted and it's very hard to see and I see why they want to do that, they don't want to spoil too much but uh, man oh man, this this game is going to be something different uh, This is I haven't been hyped for a Call of Duty game in so long I, I believe the last time I got really hyped for a Call of Duty game was probably Black Ops 2, that, like, that was the last time I got hyped like, or maybe even Black Ops 1 because you know Call of Duty it's pretty much the same thing it's kind of repetitive I mean like I do love the multiplayer I'm a big fan of multiplayer if you're honestly not hyped for this multiplayer you're not I, I, I would honestly say that you haven't played the older cause and you're a fan of the Call of Duty multiplayer in general because like a lot of people are very hyped for the Battle Royale game mode and I'm okay with the Battle Royale game mode it's just that uh the multiplayer, the classic feel of Call of Duty, the multiplayer is just something different. It just reminds me of all the fun times I had with, you know, the Mall Warfare series and the Black Ops series. And I honestly wish that it would come back, you know. I really miss the Pick 10 system for Black Ops 2. And yeah, just to create a class system overall is what I'm really excited for. You know, the World War 2 system isn't too bad, but, you know, it's not as good as you know the classic Call of Duty creative class and uh, what I really hope for Black Ops 4 like I'm okay if it doesn't have it but I really hope for like an actual nuke because you know from the Black Ops series usually it's just like a nuclear metal which is okay but not the best you know I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone wants that satisfaction of calling it a nuke just like in Modern Warfare and you know like World War 2 with the B2 rocket and uh, other games like uh, the Cam Strike and uh, I'm not sure what the Advanced Warfare one's called, but I never really tried getting a nuke in that game. I was more of a sniper in that game. And yeah, also, talking about snipers, I really want the snipe to be good. And of course, all Black Ops sniping is good. All their snipers are awesome. Uh, one of my favorite snipers from the Black Ops series is the DSR, the L9, the Ballista. Those guys were very memorable to play with. And... Uh, I can't wait to see what kind of new guns they're going to be adding to the game. And uh, I'm more of a fan of like modern as opposed to like, you know, past games like World War II, World War One, whatever. I love modern shooters, man. There's something about them, something about the map, something about the setting. Just gets me into the game more and I'm more invested into it. And, uh, you know, I grew up playing modern shooters. Yeah, and I told you guys, like, I don't know if I haven't told you, but uh, Modern Warfare 2 was probably the first uh, Call of Duty game I ever played, and Call of Duty 3, but uh, I, I believe Modern Warfare 2 was the first Call of Duty I ever touched, and uh, I fell in love with the genre ever since, fell in love with the setting, and uh, even if this game doesn't have campaign, as long as the multiplayer makes up for it, I'm good, because, I mean, everybody plays Call of Duty mostly for the multiplayer, and I'm one of the few who actually plays campaign I mean I, I, I prefer the multiplayer but I do play the campaign too I play almost every single Call of Duty campaign and uh, I enjoyed every single one of them I don't know about Black Ops 3 Black Ops 3 kind of like was a downgrade it was pretty confusing I don't know what was going on in that one but uh, all the rest of the Black Ops campaigns are awesome so who knows if that rumor is real if the multiplayer or the campaign would exist so yeah guys, I just got that V2 rocket pretty late in the game, just to end the game, only need two more kills, so yeah, so I got two kills with the V2. Uh, I went 32-1, and one. 
Got it. Had to pick up the Orso, ran out of ammo very quick. But uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just giving you guys my thoughts and um, how hyped I am about uh, Black Ops 4. I honestly can't wait. I'm going to be tuning into the live stream tomorrow, very early. Uh, and where I live, it's going to be 11 a.m. And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you guys uh, are excited as well. And I uh, can't wait to make more videos uh, regarding Black Ops 4 and even more World War II videos because there's a new playlist update with the double XP and new game modes like one shot and they also have ground, added ground war permanently I think it's permanent but uh yeah guys a lot of new things coming up a lot of new news and uh I honestly can't wait so thanks guys for watching hit the like button if you really love the video and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications to stay updated with my videos and I honestly appreciate every single one of you thanks guys peace